Hello everyone. Welcome to episode 5 of Penpa Plus. Today I will be showing you how to create a killer sudoku using Penpa tool. I will also be so, uh, giving another video, two videos today. And the another video will be specifically talking about how to do answer check uh, in Penpa or how to enable answer check. I have covered that in how to create a thermo sudoku and I have also will be covering that today in this how to create a killer sudoku. But if anyone wants to just specifically look at enabling the answer check, I am creating a separate video with that particular topic. So for today's killer sudoku, I have chosen Prasanna's killer sudoku uh, puzzle 491 from his blog. I will be providing link to this puzzle and his blog in the description below. So do check it out. He is a wonderful author. Uh, in fact, one of the best in the world. And I will also provide the final link which I create. Uh, in the YouTube description if you want to solve that same puzzle online. So with that, let's get started. I'll skip this screen aside. The first thing is new grid board type Sudoku. I don't need diagonal any other outside clues. I'm leaving other settings default and then I hit reset. So I have my Sudoku board, then I am ensuring that I am in the problem uh, selected edit mode, not solution because I am entering clues at the moment. Then rest, I don't need panel, border, I have covered this options in another video. So do check out that if you want to learn about this or you can just hover your mouse on this button. I want to keep reload on so that I don't accidentally reload the page. Now comes to the mode. For killer sudoku we need to draw cages and that option is nothing but frame mode. So you select frame, it's already default dotted line and then you just start drawing. That's it, it's that simple. So you basically just drag your mouse. If you want to go to next cell, you can little extent. So you can see there is this little dot. Then you can draw a whole edge. So it's kind of very modularized like into sections so that it gives more flexibility to the user. And then you can basically start drawing the cages. Uh, I, have, I, have my, I have the Prasanna's puzzle open on another screen on my side. So I'm just drawing cages. So you can see I just draw an L shape. You can draw like I shape or any shape basically. So you, it's basically drag and draw. And you can see if I accidentally went side, I can just draw, draw on that line again and it will delete it. Doing it once, it will draw the line. Doing it twice, it will delete that particular. So you can continue drawing like this to save time. I have, uh, as I have explained you how to draw, just drag your mouse. So to save time, I have drawn these cages already. So I'm opening that link now. There you go. Uh, we have, I have drawn all the cages as seen in the puzzle 491 on Prasanna's blog. The next thing is to enter the cage totals. And the cage totals by, uh, I mean, it, there's no standard rule, but by preference and, uh, and every killer sudoku kind of follows that is the cage total is provided in the top most and left top left most cell of that particular cage. So that there is consistency on where the clue appears. So for that, it's saying now you enter drawn cages in frame mode. Now you need to enter number. So you go to number mode. And I have recently added this special button just for killer sudokus. 
so that user don't need to think of other options or they can still do that way uh, i'll explain that later um, or shortly after explaining killer so let's go to i selected killer sub mode i'm number mode and then killer sub mode i don't and i want it to be black color so i select style as black which is default and then select the cell where you want to enter the sum and then type in the digit 8 so you can see it automatically appears in uh, the top left of that cell and so you can just keep entering all the clues select whichever cell you want the number and then just type in the killer sum button automatically enters the clue for you if not this there are there is other two option or one option but two styles of choices the other option is one by four which is quarter so one fourth basically gives you access to enter the number in four corners of the cell so you can see now in the normal mode the red cursor is occupying the entire cell whereas in the one fourth you get these four corners accessible in the individual cell and then you can type in uh, wherever you want this is useful in while solving or creating some other sudoku types we need which needs these kind of clues but for killer we want to put in the top left so i can type in 15 here the only thing you might notice is as you start entering the numbers it starts going to the left and overlap the cage and to avoid that what you can do is a small trick uh, there are two tricks one is you start with a space space bar which you can do using shift plus space bar that enters one space bar and now if i type one five now you can see and if i type without space bar you can see the difference and that's the trick with this killer button the killer button automatically does those things for you so you don't need to worry if you're using the other option so killer automatically takes care of that and the other uh, option is while you are in one fourth mode or actually even in the killer mode let's say if you want to have a white background so that when if the number overlaps the cage the cage becomes invisible and in that case you select white bg style that basically means white background now if i enter digit so you can see the cage has disappeared in this corner to basically give way for the uh, number to show on the top so that it doesn't overlap and kind of makes it clear but if you want the whole cage to be visible and also the number to be clear you can just use this option you don't need to use one fourth and white background just go killer and black style and then enter your clue and if you notice I, I basically I'm using spacebar to delete the contents of the cell the number contents so let's continue to add the remaining numbers 1 8 there you go we completed adding all the clues in the prop because this is our actual uh, given puzzle so this this is how you complete adding the killer clues now you can directly go to share and then basically uh, click on url for editing if you want to save it for the future editor or if you find some mistake or you want to modify later or you can just directly do url for solving this is for sharing with your other 
friends to solve online and the third option is the extra option which is generate url with answer check so that when user solves this puzzle online he can directly uh, the penpa will pop up with a message if the solution is correct when he completes solving the puzzle and another feature i just recently added to avoid unnecessary additional click of buttons for copy and stuff so now when you do url short it not only opens this new tab but it automatically has copied the link so you can directly do control v which is paste the link appears here so this will save some extra time for you but now i want to i don't want to do url for solving i want to do with answer check so to do that you need to go edit and select solution mode because now you are entering solution and then just uh, go to number mode and then start entering your uh, answer i'm not solving this puzzle now i'm just giving some sample uh, numbers here so just showing and you can finish the whole grid entering numbers like this and then you can go share extra options generate url with answer check click outside then click url short and then control v the link already appears then you can shorten and then you will have a shorten url to share with everyone so this is how you can create a killer sudoku with answer check if you want to i hope this gives you a clear idea on how to use the tool for creating basically to summarize you need two modes at frame to draw the cages and then number to enter the uh, clues thank you for watching this video as usual please provide any comment if you like the video please uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to stay up to uh, up to date with the latest videos and stay tuned for another video thank you guys